most of the time, you're not going to wait six weeks. You're not going to wait eight weeks. You're not going to wait 10 weeks. You're not going to wait 12 weeks. Do you want to know how long you're going to wait for your suit from a good maker? Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman, super fit cosplayer. So, you're a cosplayer, or you want to get into it, and you're not sure where to start, or you're not sure how to commission your next suit, your next costume. So what I'm going to talk about is some things that you should really think about when you're commissioning. And if you stay tuned to the end, I'll let you know some of the makers that I work with that have generally given me some really, really good stuff. Now, I will say before I get into this, so as anything so even on my suit reviews the thing is if you're going to commission a suit you got to do so at your own risk you got to be smart you got to really do your research and don't just throw your money away to somebody that you've never heard of or that somebody's going to promise you the world or somebody who's going to promise you that it's going to be done in six weeks it ain't going to happen <laughs> spoilers so all right we're going to get right into this so number five have a clear vision but be able to pivot. So what do I mean by that? So I'll give you an example of when I commissioned one of the first suits that I had. Now this isn't the first one, but it's one of them. So Unmasked Studio, great, great maker. So I commissioned a suit with him based on something that I had seen him do. I saw a specific emblem that I really wanted him to use. I think it was by uh, Cup Creations, I think. Unfortunately, he couldn't get that specific emblem, okay? So what had happened was he got a different emblem. Now, that here's the th here's the thing. You've got to be able to pivot, but you've also got to be able to make sure that they will confirm with you before they just go ahead and make a design based on something that you didn't want. So the good thing about Unmask Studio is that he actually asked me first. He showed me this emblem, and it, I wasn't sold on it at first. I, I just wasn't. But when I finally got it, it just it really made the suit like I think it was the best choice for this particular suit it was sort of like a Superman return style I originally wanted a more traditional comic book emblem but he, he got that one instead and it actually looked really good with the suit and I was very happy with that so the thing is you've got to have a clear vision but you've also got to understand that like the makers they're human right they can't do everything that we want them to do like they don't have unlimited resources so you've got to have an expectation but you got to be like realistic about it you're never going to get something that is going to be perfect like i can tell you that now it's just never going to happen you're never going to get a suit that you look at and can't find any imperfections um but yes so you have to be able to understand that what you want whilst most good makers will be able to deliver you something that is like that or very very similar or even spot on there are going to be things that potentially can't be done for example i wanted a suit that was sort of a um uh, based off of jay's comic art where he uh, uh, superman he has got the briefs and the briefs are made of the same material as the actual suit that's what i had originally wanted but it wasn't something that could be done like the maker who i was working with i'm sure it could be but this particular maker was not able to do it because the way that it is it has to be part of the actual suit it can't be like a separate piece and i think it probably would have been a little bit too difficult so i settled on just red trim instead and that worked out pretty well I didn't have a great time with that maker, but you know, the suit was nice enough. So that's number five, have a clear vision, but be able to pivot. Number four, set expectations. So what do you want? What is your timeline? Communication. So, okay. So when you set the expectation, what I mean is you're going to reach out to a maker and they're going to ask you what you want. And you're going to tell them, this is what I want. This is when I need it by, and sort of when when do I need it by like as in so do do I have an event yes okay is that event in six weeks yes okay you're probably not going to get your suit so you've got to be realistic so this will circle back to the next thing but you've got to be able to tell them exactly what you want and you've got to be open to communication so right off the bat when I work with any any maker I I am right off the bat I'm just like here's my expectation I expect that if you're telling me it's going to be three months, I expect that that suit's going to be done in three months. I don't, because here's the truth about it, kids. They're going to tell you what you want to hear because they want your business. But a lot of the times it's going to take longer. So I will tell them that. And then I'll add the caveat knowing that it's probably going to take longer than three months. If it's going to take longer than three months, I need you to be in communication with me. I need to make sure that I'm seeing updates. I don't want 
yes, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Yes, it's shipping next week, next week, next week. No, 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 I want updates. And if you can't do that for me, if you don't think that you're gonna be able to do that for me, then we're not we're not working together. So don't be afraid of telling a maker no. Just because you've seen their work and you want something made by them, don't be afraid. If, you don't, if you're not feeling comfortable with it, don't be afraid of saying no. Communication is key. I've worked with some makers that are great at communication but poor on delivery, but I can forgive the delivery because they actually communicate with me. I've worked with makers who are eh, on delivery and lousy at communication, I generally don't work with those makers again. If they're lousy at both, <laughs> no. And I'm going to tell people about it. Not in a nasty way, but if somebody asks me, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Number three, plan, 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 plan for it to take a while. It's not going to take six weeks. There are going to be makers out there that are going to tell you it's going to take six weeks, eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks. Guaranteed that that is not the case. Most of the time, you are going to wait. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna give you a little bit of a mic drop moment. Most of the time, you're not going to wait six weeks. You're not going to wait eight weeks. You're not going to wait 10 weeks. You're not going to wait 12 weeks. Do you want to know how long you're going to wait for your suit from a good maker? Chances are, and I'm sorry, but this is the facts of it, you're going to wait anywhere between six months and two years. I have waited two years for a suit. I have made. I have waited six months for a suit. I have waited eight months for a suit that was promised to me in four weeks back when I was a young cosplayer and I had a glint of naivety in my eye. So it's going to take much longer than you think. If you order it in August, you're not getting it for Halloween. If you want it for Halloween, order it now. We're in like November, November the early November. If you want it for Halloween 2025, you should probably be ordering it now. That's from custom makers. I'm not talking about you know, places that, that bulk make this stuff. Um, and even then, like, just because it takes much longer than they're telling you, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're trying to swindle you or they're trying to scam you. It's just that is what it is. That's the nature of it. They've got full-time jobs. They've got families. They've got limited resources. It's not a bad thing. Most of the time, you're going to get what you paid for, and it's going to be worth it. But be prepared that it's going to take a while. And, and if you're prepared for that and you can tell yourself that, then maybe it'll stress you a little bit less. Number two, try to avoid making payments without a regulated system. For example, PayPal. I will always tell you and recommend that if you're going to pay a maker, especially if you're getting into the thousands of dollars, you're going to not want to just do like a bank transfer. Make sure you use something that has some kind of protection. And I will caution you, even if they tell you that you should be using friends and family, figure out a way to talk them out of that. Even if you have to pay an extra hundred dollars on your end, just so that you have some peace of mind, because at the end of the day, if you use friends and family, it's really hard to get some protection from PayPal. It's really hard to get any money back if you think you've been scammed. So use, and if they're, if they're, if they're not willing to budge on that, it is dealer's choice here. It's like, you've got to figure out if it's worth it to you. That's when I would say, in addition to this, ask around. You know, ask people that you know have used that maker and get their idea. Like, I am so available to people. Like, if you, I've, I've had people come up to me at least a dozen times a week asking me about specific makers. And I'll be honest with you. Like, if you're not sure, like, I've worked with many makers and you can see them on my page, uh, my Melbourne Instagram page. Sorry, my Melbourne Superman Instagram page. If you are wanting to work with a maker, ask me about them and I will tell you my honest opinion. So make sure that you have protection for yourself because some of these costumes can be really expensive. I've paid upwards of $5,000 for one thing. So it, it can get expensive. Now, that leads me into number one. Number one, budget cosplay is okay. Now, I'm going to say this for the people in the back. Budget cosplay is okay. So, I mean, some of my best pictures have come from uh, suits that are less than a hundred dollars so if you don't have the thousands and thousands of dollar budget if you don't have fifteen hundred dollars to drop on a napier suit or, or five thousand dollars to drop on an in disguise suit 
be okay with going to some place like Pro Cosplay. I am going to eventually get the extreme Clark Kent that Pro Cosplay has now uh, advertised. So comment down below. Let me know that you want to do this review. I'm trying to get Pro Cosplay on board to send me uh, one. But also, if you want to become a member of my channel, that'll also help me because it's an expensive suit. It's, well, I mean, not compared to some of the other ones, but a few hundred dollars is a big investment. But I want to get it so that I can review it for all of you. But budget. For me, budget cosplay is anything less than $500. Now, I know that that sounds like a big number, but when you consider the things that you can get, budget cosplay, less than $500, to me, that makes sense. Um, you can get some good stuff for under $100, especially like stuff that's spandex-based, like my um, my Superman 2025. I kind of dig it. It's like, I mean, the budget... the the economy version. I like it. I have a Mr. Fantastic. That cost me like 40 bucks. I've got a Superman Blue. That cost me like 60 bucks. Like, you can get some really good stuff for really cheap if you know how to look for it. Just go like Pro Cosplay, check them out. Sims Cosplay, check them out. Cosmanly's even. Like, these are companies that bulk make this stuff. So it's not like... Uh, you, you know, it's, it's 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 stuff that has a specific pattern. They have like warehouses. They make it whatever, um, and some of it looks quite good. So don't be afraid of budget cosplay. So those are my five top tips when you're commissioning a suit or wanting to get something new. Five, have a clear vision. Four, set expectations. Three, plan for it to be a while. Two, try to avoid payments without protection. And one, budget is okay. Now we're gonna move on. We're gonna turn the page here. It's a real page turner. I'm going to get into the cosplay makers that I recommend that I will always work with. As long as I have the cash, these are people that I work with. Some of them I have projects coming. Some of them I haven't worked with in a while, but they're always in the back of my mind because they are great. So, number five, Napiers. Napiers, Napiers, Napiers. I love Bruce. I think he's great really good at communication definitely one of those makers that's going to take a long time he's he's like i love him to death he's going to tell you a couple months it's probably going to take a year but you know what you get what you get and you get what you pay for my man of steel suit that he sent me a few months back is probably one of the best cosplays that i have i would work with napiers again in an instant but you've got to keep in mind it's going to take a while and i've come to terms with that because he's great at communication Number four, Unmasked Studio, one of the first ones that I'm, I worked with. Love Unmasked. I think it's a great company. This is in conjunction with number three, GC5FX, because I have a, a suit from Unmasked Studio that GC5FX did the trim. Now, with Napiers, the trim came from Ben Abel FX, so that is also another person that I would work with. So with trims, GC5FX, Ben Abel FX, honorable mentions there. Um, but yes, Napiers and Unmasked Studio. Again, going to take a while, but... Um, so Napiers specializes in sort of more naturalistic muscle suits and, you know, working with companies like Parallel Designs and getting that real good quality stuff out there. Unmasked, they, they specialize in kind of like bigger, bulky muscle suits. I don't know that they do anything less bulky than what I've seen, uh, but they can do anything. I mean, they can do anything in terms of suits. Um, then we move on to Pro Cosplay. I would work with Pro Cosplay. I've ordered stuff from them again. I know that they're reliable. I know that they're going to get me the stuff. Pro Cosplay is the type of company that will get you the stuff when they say they're going to get it to you, maybe a couple of weeks late, but it's not going to be months and months and months. Uh, and they've got such a wide variety. And even the budget stuff, it looks it looks pretty good. Like most of the stuff on there, it's going to look pretty good for you. And then number one, New Dream Props. New Dream Props is my go-to for my Christopher Reeve suit. Uh, he is making me something now that's going to be a bit of an amalgamation between um, Christopher Reeve and the David Cornsweat James Gunn 2025 suit. Now, he is also a maker that's going to take a little while because he's got very limited resources where he's at. He works with many different people. He also takes the time to really... Um, look at the authentic coloring and dyeing of everything and and making it as close to film accurate as possible but he is definitely very good i would work with him again in an instant he is making me suit at the moment so there you have it those are now the the makers that i would work with napiers unmasked studio gc5 vex pro cosplay new dream props don't think i've missed anybody uh, I, I love working with all of them so look if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe hit that notifications bell ding ding please do consider becoming a member because it really helps the channel out I want to keep going. I want to keep bringing you news and cosplay stuff. So look, catch me at Melbourne Superman on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time.